Today's paper is Point Rend, Image Segmentation as Rendering. The paper proposes efficient, high-quality image segmentation of objects and scene. This is done by viewing image segmentation problem as a rendering problem. The method enhances segmentation output quality by sampling pixel locations and predicts the labels of the positions. As shown in the right figure, Adding the point rent module to existing network enhances the quality of the segmentation output. On the left, labels predicted by the mask RCNN network output soft boundaries of object edges. Segmentation results of the neighboring pixels often take the same labels and fail to have sharp boundaries. The overall process can be divided into three steps. First, point selection strategy chooses a small number of real value points to make predictions. This avoids excessive computation for all the pixels in the high resolution output grid. Given the points, a pointwise feature representation is extracted. Features for a real value point are computed by bilinear interpolation, and it is able to utilize subpixel information encoded in the channel dimension to predict a segmentation that has higher resolution. Lastly, at point head, a small neural network is trained to predict a label from this pointwise feature representation independently for each point. The figure shows the overall method of point rend on an instant segmentation task. As shown as a solid red arrow, given an image as an input, a standard instance segmentation network first localizes object location and uses a light segmentation head to predict the labels in the course level. On existing architecture, the point rend module selects a set of points, represented in red dots, and makes predictions for each point independently using a small multilayer perceptron. The MLP uses interpolated features computed at these points from first a fine-grained feature map on the backbone CNN, and second from the coarse prediction mask. The coarse mask feature enables the MLP to make different predictions at a single point that is contained by two or more boxes. The proposed subdivision mask rendering algorithm applies this process repeatedly to refine uncertain regions of the predicted mask. The top figure shows a toy example of the subdivision step used in the paper. The method is inspired by the classical technique in computer graphics field. It efficiently renders high resolution images by computing only the locations where there is a high chance that the value is significantly different from its neighboring pixels. For each location, the method iteratively renders the output mask in a coarse to fine fashion. At a segmentation head output, the coarse prediction is first made on the points on a regular grid. In each iteration, the point rend upsamples its previously predicted segmentation using bilinear interpolation, then it selects the end most uncertain points on a larger grid. Point rend then computes the pointwise feature representation for each of these endpoints and predicts their labels. This process is repeated until the segmentation is upsampled to a desired resolution. While training the network, a non iterative strategy based on random sampling is used to speed up the training process. This is shown in the bottom figure. Depending on the sampling strategy, the model selects endpoints on a feature map to train on. Point rend constructs pointwise features at selected points by combining fine and coarse prediction features. Given the pointwise feature representation at each selected point, point rend makes pointwise segmentation predictions using a simple multi-layer perceptron. Note that this MLP shares weight across all the points. The table on the left shows the comparison of point rend to the Mascar CNN. The method outperforms the default head on both Coco and Cityscapes datasets. The gap becomes larger when evaluating using a higher quality dataset that has better annotation quality. On the right are the visual results. 
The point rent in general outputs better segmentation quality. As shown in the figure, higher output resolution aligns mask outputs better with object boundaries. Lastly, this figure shows application of point rend on Cityscape's dataset. In instance segmentation, point rend is able to output high resolution output. Having this advantage, the proposed model is able to capture details of the objects. On the other hand, for semantic segmentation, point rend is able to recover small objects. On the third column of DeepLab V3, the segmentation result of the object is disconnected, but adding the point rent module captures the detail of the object. A link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time with a new paper.